This is a demonstration of the Direct Logic 05 PLC and six switches and one 120 volt load. The Direct Logic 05 has eight inputs and six outputs. The inputs are digital inputs, the outputs are relay outputs. The input and output panel for easy wiring is shown here. The DC power supply that's required to connect to the switches and the 120 volt source. The program is written so that a certain combination of these switches will turn the light on. And that combination happens to be this toggles and these two pressed. The light will latch on and stay on until I press only one, that one. The program that makes this happen is here. In the next video, I will explain how to create that program. This is a demonstration of the DL05 button program. The software is called DirectSoft 5. And then Direct Launch 5. Double click here. Run the software. We could give it a new project name or not. Close. We have to know what the program is. That had to be done separately. This is the program we want. The first statement of the program looks like a normally open contact called X0. I place that in this spot after I put it into the edit mode. This is a normally open contact. When I click it, it automatically shows up where the black box is. Give it a name, X0, enter. The next is a normally closed contact called X1. There. Press it. X1. The next one normally closed X2. Next one normally open X3. Next one normally open X4. Next one normally closed X5. Next one normally closed X1. Wire down at that point. Control shift. Whoops. Control down. Control down. Oh, the output is called Y5. We get that through the coil menu. Standard coil out, OK, name it Y5. Then place a normally open contact with the name Y5 here, normally open contact called Y5, and then control right arrow each time to complete the uh, parallel path. Um, next, put the end statement which is always required in every program.
end done that completes the program the yellow line means it has not been accepted yet so I click the accept button the yellow line went away um, I would connect to the PLC and upload the program but I already did it and it's it's there now put the PLC into the run mode so the PLC is running this particular program if I click the status button I'll see the status of each of those switches blue means that the switch configuration makes that statement true the way the PLC program works is if there's continuity that is all blue from left to the output statement then the output statement will be true since there's a parallel path there are two ways for the output statement to be true all blue through this path or the parallel path could be true bypassing all of those so I'll make X0 and X2 true by pressing those two switches the light is now on if I press switch X1 then it will become untrue and the rung unlatches one more time press X0 and X2 the rung is said to be latched and it doesn't matter about any of those other switches in the parallel path at this point because the parallel path is now bypassing all of those so as long as Y5 stays true and X1 stays true the light will stay on the only way to turn it off is by pressing X1 and that completes the first demonstration I'll explain this program a little bit more there are two kinds of input statements a normally open contact and a normally closed contact they're associated with the six switches uh, the important part about this demonstration is the effect that each switch has on the program whether each statement becomes true or false depends on what kind of switch it is whether it's a normally open switch or a normally closed switch that's independent from the type of programming statement that it is normally open or normally normally closed they do not have to match there is a normal there is an output statement Y5 uh, the output statements go on the extreme right hand edge and the input statements go to the left of that study this program and thoroughly understand exactly how it works